Hey guys, we're out today looking for some putty root. Uh, you can use it to make a glue-like substance. Native Americans and early American settlers used it in this way. And I'll show you what that is and how you process it. Okay, this is putty root. It's also known as putty root orchid and Adam and Eve. It is green, it has white lines running its entire length. At the base, it's purple. And if you turn it on the back, it's green with just a few white lines running. And then you got purple going up too. Okay, but before you dig these, I'm going to put in the description the states that it's endangered in because a few states in its natural habitat it is endangered. Where I'm at, it's not. But I'll post all that stuff in the description to make sure to look at that before you go digging it. But I'm just going to use a stick and my hands and just to go around it some of them's fairly close to the ground like I can see one of them right here some of them's a little bit deeper okay I got it dug out now I uh, ripped this one off of there but they grow together which is one reason they call them Adam and Eve but I'm not going to kill the entire plant so I'm just going to take this sod and I'm going to replant this one and I would advise all of you to do that that way it can still continue to grow and these do bloom in the winter time like this they in later winter early spring they take a different form but this is what's up right now Okay, all I did was washed it off. So what you're gonna wanna do is smash it up. want to continue smashing it and grinding it up until as good as you can get. Now if you had a pestle and mortar it would probably be a little bit better but this is fairly close. Now you can add a little bit of water to this if you want to make it a little bit more like a uh, putty, but even at this stage, it is pretty much like a putty. Add a little bit more water to it, really would be. But as you can see, it has quite a bit of stickiness to it already. I figured I would show you a little demonstration. I've got a rock in my hand, and it will hold it on all the way upside down as you can see. So it's fairly sticky, makes a great glue. Okay, I got it to about the consistency I want and I just added a little tiny bit of water. You don't need much at all. But if I was you, I would kind of smash it into a ball for until you need it and try to keep it moist. You don't want it to be completely dry. And then what they would use it for is to mend pottery so it does pretty good when it dries but I've used it to mend one of my little pots that had a couple little hairline cracks in it but this is how you make glue out of putty root I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you in the next one